back uh, with Cedar and we are we have Bella with us today. We just got done filming a Bella Be Good uh, video for the series that we're doing with her. So if you're new to new to just watching Cedar, um, Cedar just is a project that we just kind of started and we didn't really plan on. Bella is something that I think we filmed like 80 of them so far since she was a little puppy to this point. Um, Bella is going to be a part of today's session with Cedar because Bella could use, she struggled a little bit with her, her session that I did with her. Um, she was a little bit out of tune, I would say. She was just kind of ditzy, um, a little flighty, a little loose. And so her reward for that is going to be sit and watch another dog at the same time and just be good. Be, be there and don't make a, don't make a scene, just do nothing which is what I really like these dogs getting used to is doing nothing. This is a real, this will be real interesting because I don't know what day it is with, with um, Cedar, six maybe or seven, six, seven. It'll be real interesting to me because this is the, about the time where it kind of loses its, its newness. So I think a lot of people were very excited um, to see a new dog, to see this, to see a dog that, is different than the ones I'm used to, that they're used to seeing with us. A lot of it has to do with, she was never with us until five months old. Ah, ah, sit down. And so she's created, she's had some, some things go over the last couple months, not so good. And um, it's, crea it's created an issue big enough that we need to address it now. And so I do think people got kind of interested in seeing that. I also think she's a real pretty dog, so it's nice to watch. But now is the time that it'll be interesting to see how much following does it maintain because now is when it will get pretty boring and a lot of people are going to go i'm kind of tired of seeing him do the same thing with that dog all the time now we we vary it a little bit we always make uh, you know yesterday we remote sat with her uh the day before with an off lead and the day before we did it with the lead and the day before that we couldn't get her to do it at all and so in three days if you look at I, it would be day seven, six, and five. There's really a big change. But it doesn't always happen that way. It, doesn't, it always isn't that clear. And so there's a lot of times where you go for a long period of time, day after day after day, without huge changes. And people get bored with that. And that's when people get bored with their training. And people just kind of check out of it. I see it all the time. And so there's a lot of people that will be excited about the series and then it'll fade with the interest because you're going to say he doesn't really do that many exciting things with that dog anymore. I'm bored with watching. And that's the same issue that we run into with folks that are training their dogs. I do a lot of things over and over and over. Sit. sit. And you can see I asked her to sit too long. Sit down. It's a combination of two things. I asked her to go too long, which is one of the skills that I like. Dogs that sit and do nothing and look good doing it. They're just quiet, they're patient. She's working on it. This one's working on it. But one, two things happened there. It went too long. The other thing is, it's probably because I have another dog right there. It's a much more challenging situation for her to focus when there's another dog laying right there and she'd much rather go play with that dog. It's hard enough when there's no dog there, come on. It's hard enough to get her focus when there isn't a dog there. Now I'm gonna ask her to do it when there's a dog there. So I'm gonna start moving with her and we're gonna go through, this is your warning, the boredom warning. We're gonna do the same damn thing again and again and again. Yeah. Yesterday we started working on turns into her. Good, there's a beautiful right hand turn with really good eyes. I'm not gonna to get too close to Bella. Good, look at that, good girl. Again, we gotta be as quick to remind them when they do it right as we do when they do it wrong. A lot of people are very critical of their dogs, but they don't let them know when they do it right. Good, there, that last, sec that last two steps was good on her part. So I kind of surprised her with that turn. You can tell she's a little feisty right now. Good. Good, very nice, come on. Quite honestly, she's looking pretty good with Bella being there. Now we're keeping a distance, intentionally. Sit. 
I think this dog's gotta go to the bathroom too, Ben. Bella did before. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So I'm gonna take her into the weeds and let her do her thing. Now, I don't like showing this. Ben can not dial in on her. But I do think two dogs in a row now that I've taken out, now I've been gone most of the day. So two dogs in a row I've worked with that I really didn't air out ahead of time, they both had to go. So hard to focus when you gotta go to the bathroom. He'll I bet you she'll do a little better now. Good. Heel. One thing I'm noticing about her is her, she is looking to me today. Good. But look at how distracted she was there. She didn't know if she should look at Bella or me. She still doesn't know if she should look at Bella or me. Her position's great though. Good. Good. She's real smart, you can see. Just yesterday we started turning into her and asking her to use her hindquarters to lead and she's doing that. Nope. Now she's looking to test. You can see it, she kind of curled her lips up a little bit like she wanted to nip at me. She almost reached out at me. This is challenging to her, like I'm challenging her. There she tried to sit to get out of it. So my turn into her, all I'm trying to do, I'm not really focusing that much on her footwork right now. I'm just trying to get her to figure out the concept. When he turns into me, he's not challenging me. He's got some place to go. And if she's gonna jump up, she's gonna find herself in a really bad position. Good, good. So I don't have to get mad at her for that, but I'm not gonna let her, not gonna let her win either. Because you kind of remember what happened when I did remote sit. As soon as I faced her, she felt pretty challenged and she would challenge me back and want to run. She just couldn't sit still. Well, as soon as I turn into her, there, good. Except for that last little jump. As soon as I turn into her, she's got two choices. She can either look at it like I'm challenging her and try to challenge me back, or she can give in and backpedal. And in order to do that, it takes coordination, it takes a willingness mentally to give in to my pressure. And when I say pressure, I mean just facing her, walking into her. Sit down. Sit down. There's the challenge of working two dogs together. Trying to pay attention to one, losing track of the other. It's also the challenge for the dog. She's not sure she should watch the her or me. Now she's real, she's got a ton of energy. She's real willing. Hey, come here. Bella, come here. Sit. Sit. Sit down, heel. Sit. Cedar, heel. Sit down. A little confusing for Bella. All of a sudden she's the old dog. She's never been the old dog. She's always the young one. Good. I'm just gonna let her sit for a second. We've been pretty high pace, pretty active here. And I don't think for a second either one of them is not trying. It's just we're really seeing some immaturity. Good. Good girl. Good. Heel. Sit. Sit. 
That was a challenge. She said, I, I don't think I want to right now. Sit. Good. 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 Heal. Sit. Sit. Heal. There's the dogs in the way. That dog is what got in the way. Bella got in the way of her. Sit. Now she looks at me and she takes the command real nice. Heal. Turns good. Right hand turns good. Good. That was very good. Heel. Good. Much better. Missed that correction. Good. Very good. Very good. She's trying. Good, good, that's it, that was it, that was really nice. Now, we're a little bit further away from Bella, we're the furthest away from Bella that we've been. It's not a coincidence that she does a lot better over here. Come back over here, let's walk past Bella, I'll be in between the two. Good. Sit, good, heal. Good. See her figuring out where to get her feet to get them out of the way of mine. Sit. Sit. Good. Heel. There. Good dog. Sit. Good. 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 Boy, she's tempted. You just saw those eyes over to Bella. Ah! No, you don't. I gotta be careful not to challenge her. I wanna square up to her to correct her there, but I don't wanna challenge her either because I know she'll get excited. And I know she'll get down and I know she'll wanna run off. So I just gotta keep moving, keep her attention. Keep her focus. That's a good dog. That was good. That was good. Heel. Good. Sit. Good. Now I'll just take a break for a second. There's another little flurry of stuff. Right turns, left turns. Remote sit a little bit. Ah! Nope. Good. Bella, Bella, here, Bella. Sit, very good. Good, I'm as pleased with her as I am Bella. Da, 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 da. Sit, sit, good, good dog, good, heel. Heel. Good. Heel, Bella. Good. And all she's all I'm asking her is to not pick a fight. This is real hard for her. There's a reason why we didn't start out with it. Good. That's real challenging for that pup. Good. Good. She did great with it. Good. So we added a lot of distraction here today. Heel. Sit. Bella, sit. Cedar. 
a lot of distraction and a really nice job actually getting through it has a real nice turn there's another real nice turn ah, da, 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 da. don't you do that come on good there very good and it's probably a good way to end this I don't know how long that went it went plenty long how many minutes is it plenty really good little short relatively short session very positive with a ton of distractions again probably real boring probably very similar to what we've done in the past it's gonna be like this for weeks before I can get comfortable enough to say we're ready to go start adding more stuff to it but as slow of a process as it is I do think if you look at day one and day seven there's a big change it just doesn't happen always every single day um, it just you build up to it and then all of a sudden boom things click and you move you're able to move forward a little bit more that's a plenty good session